it's, it's a little late, but I, uh, for the holiday, you know, I'm feeling a little holiday spirit. This is the last day of the holidays. I, I, last I day said, of the decade. Last day of the decade. I'm going to do a Tales from the Game Store. <laughs> Gonna do one. Gonna do do one of these. It's been a while. So Lane and I are working together and it's uh it's right before Christmas, or is it post Christmas? I actually can't remember anymore. I think it was probably post Christmas, like maybe the day after. Two scoops. And we're we're sitting there and it's been a fairly busy day, but it it, it cleared out for a little bit. And this family walks in. Mom, dad. It was the day after Christmas, I remember now. Mom, dad, younger kid, and a teenage kid. Now, okay. younger kid is probably about eight years old. He runs into the store uh, before ahead of anyone else, and he's like, you guys were closed yesterday, and it was my birthday. Meaning his birthday was on Christmas? <laughs> Meaning his birthday was on Christmas, okay. just like Ricky Henderson. So I'm, like, so I'm like, okay, I'm sorry about that. And he's like, so we're here today. And I'm like, all right. Great. So a little, little aggressive from the start. A little aggressive a little from aggressive. the start. Okay. Um, so then, you know, mom and dad walk in and uh, teenager. Teenager looks to be, I would put him at, I'm going to put him like smack dab at 16 years old. Okay. Middle middle of a teenage year. Yeah. Okay. Smack dab at 16. So um, they walk in and the dad goes, all right, well, if uh, you see a game that yeah, he's, he goes, we're here for your brother. He looks at the teenager and goes, we're here for your brother. But if you see a game or something you want, let me know. Okay. Now, Lane, meanwhile, is like. Has a feeling. So I, I look at her and I'm like, all right, I don't say anything. But it seems like she's dealt with these people before. So teenager. We're gonna call him. Uh, we're gonna call him. Uh, we're gonna call him Brewster. Brewster goes over and uh, starts looking at the. Uh, immediately goes and starts looking at the systems and goes, "I found what I want. I want this GameCube." And the dad's like, "The dad." The dad goes, "Yeah, okay, that's fine." And the mom goes, "No. No, you're not getting. You have five systems. You have six systems at home." You have too many systems. You have too many games in your room. And the dad's just sitting there looking like just dopey. Dopey. I mean, he looks like wet pizza dough. He's, he's just out got, of it. <sighs> yeah, he's just got this incredibly life, dumb look Life has steamrolled him. He's done. Yeah, he's done. He's, he's done. given up. He, and this is after Christmas, by the way. This is after Christmas. Okay. This is a guy who says yes to his kids all the time. And the mom is Bad just cop. right here. She is putting her foot down. And... The kid looks at his mom and goes, well, that's a shame. The eight-year-old said that? No, no, the teenager oh, says that. Okay, that's no, The eight-year-old, meanwhile, is looking around. Being fun. Being fun, okay. looking at games, not causing any problems. Okay. And the mom's like, no, if you want a GameCube, if you want a GameCube, you're going to have to go home and you're going to have to find a system that you no longer want and you're going to have to sell it. This is like his childhood system, maybe the GameCube, right? 16? Yeah. 2003? Hold on. Hold on. We're getting oh, there. Oh, okay, okay. We're getting there. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> lots of ins, lots of outs. So he's like, all right, I'll get rid of that little one I got. And she's like, which one? And he goes, the little one. He looks at me and he goes, can I get this GameCube, please? <laughs> he doesn't say please, actually. He says, can I get this GameCube? And the mom's the, the like. The little one. <laughs> the little one. <laughs> Like, what's the little one? The little one I got from the flea market. The PC engine? That's a little one. I mean, So the mom's like, no, we're not here for you. We're here for your brother. Your dad said if you find a game that you want, you know, we can maybe get you the game. But your brother is here to get games. And he goes, but mom. And he looks and like, I swear, he goes, <laughs> but mom, I want to play Super Mario Sunshine. And then with emphasis, it would bring back such good memories. <laughs> At this point, I turned around and walked right out the back door. 
because I'm fucking dying. I'm doubled over that this kid who is like 16 years old is screaming at his mom in the middle of the store about the nostalgia he needs to feel for Super Mario Sunshine. Maybe that's the last time he had joy as a child. So, <laughs> like only like 12 years ago. So, I years. fucking get it out of my system and I walk back in. I, oh, did Lane laugh? No, Lane is literally like this with her head in her hands behind the te- the behind the uh, behind the computer. So, I come back in, and. The mom's like, you know, she, they're, they're still arguing. Basically, she's just, she's putting her foot down. And she's like, you know, we, you're not leaving here with it. And she looks at the dad. And the dad's like, just makes a shrug and puts Whatever. his hands up. So she goes, you'll have to have a second choice. And then the kid goes, fine. And he looks at me and he goes, I want a copy of Pokemon Plantum. <laughs> Plantum. Pl- Plantum. Plantum. <laughs> Plantum. No, I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan. I don't think there's a Pokemon <laughs> plant them, though. <laughs> plant, plant them, plant, apostrophe E-M, plant them. Gotta plant them all. <laughs> Gotta plant them all. Well, the joke I made to Lane afterwards was it was the Pokemon game. That was all grass type. There was nothing but grass type. The only time in the history where all three starters were grass but, okay, type. Okay, so he probably meant platinum. He did, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And I said, Pokemon platinum? I said, we don't have any copies of that. And he goes, see? See, this is what I was afraid of. I can't get the GameCube, and they don't have Pokemon Plantum. That's what he, that was his fear. That was what he was afraid of. <laughs> that, that's, it, that's what kept him up. He goes, so I don't have my first choice, and I don't get my second choice. And then the dad goes, how about choice three? Oh, no. <laughs> how about a Jumbo Jack? <laughs> A ju- what? A jumbo jack. What the fuck is a jumbo jack? Jack of the boxes version of the Whopper. <laughs> I'm still thinking of kids. <laughs> the kid looks. <laughs> the kid. Wait, wait, wait. So he offers him a burger. He offers him a burger. The kid looks at the dad. And there is hate in this kid's eyes. There is hate in this kid's eyes. And you can see the dad. You can see the dad kind of shrink back a little bit. You want to see him as he's got like the big smile. He's like, eh. Jumbo Jack? He's like, option three, couple of Jumbo Jacks. We'll go to Jack in the box. And the kid goes, the Jumbo Jack sucks, dad. Jack in the box isn't even going to be making them for much longer. <laughs> Wait, wait a second. <laughs> I turned around and left the store again. Wait a second. I turned around and left the store. And the kid told his dad that the Jumbo Jack sucks. Wait, wait, wait and because second. it sucks, they're not going to be making it for wait, much longer. Wait a second. Wait, wait, there's like th- all these layers here. So the dad <laughs> is in such a state of mind that he's offering a kid a burger he's, like he's, he's five years he's old. He's trying to placate the child. Like he's five. With promises. But he's a 16 year old. But then not only has the son had the Jumbo Jack and realized it's crap, but then knows the inner workings of of, of Jack in the Box International LLC or LTD to know that they're not going to no, make him it anymore. Was, it, it's just one of those spoiled teen outbursts because there's no way that Jack in the Box is not going to be making their signature sandwich anymore. <laughs> it would be like Burger King. It'd be like saying the Whopper sucks. The Whopper man. sucks. No, they're not going to be it's, making it's, the Whopper. It's, much it's their number longer. one item. They're not making the Big Macs anymore, Dad, because I can't get Pokemon Plantum. <laughs> And the game <laughs> the game. <laughs> so meanwhile, the eight year olds looking around, uh, like the eight year olds just oblivious to this. The mom, <laughs> at this point, goes, "That's it," and walks out. That was it for her. After the, after the kid spoiled brat had an outburst. Eight year old looks up, oh, looks around and goes, "Okay, I don't see anything I want. Have a good one." Oh no, no, the eight year olds. Oh, the eight-year-old wants family to be normal the eight-year-old and nice. Was a little, oh. Eight-year-old was a little enthusiastic, but the eight-year-old oh. was fine the whole time. Other than being upset that we were closed on his birthday, the eight-year-old's fine. So the eight-year-old, full of smiles, just walks out oh, the door. Oh, that's the good kid, and his fucking stupid bratty older brother ruins his fucking birthday. So he can't get a game. 
<laughs> I would say this. Why didn't the parents give him a game on his birthday, which was Christmas, give him an extra game? So then the dad and the kid stay in the store. The kid walks around for a little bit more. The dad's like, well, do you see any, like, game that you want? For the eight-year-old. No, no, for, for the teenager. I, I'm gonna fucking, the eight-year-old is already... I'm gonna, eight find, I'm gonna find this fucking teenager. The eight-year-old is I'm, already I'm, left. I'm, I'm getting so annoyed. The eight-year-old is left. I'm getting so annoyed. The mom has left. I'm getting so fucking annoyed now. The teenager walks up to the DS games, starts looking, and goes, yep, no copies of Pokemon Plantum. <laughs> And goes, right. and the dad's like, anything? And he's like, no, if I can't get the GameCube, I'm, I, there's nothing here I want. And they leave, and literally, I kid you not, as they're leaving the door, the dad, to like fucking put the bow on it, the dad puts his arm around the teenager and says, let's go to Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> they leave, and I look at v Lane, and she's just like, she just throws her hand up and I go, well, that was something. And she goes, oh, you haven't dealt with them before? And I was like, no. She goes, oh, that's the story every time they come in. Oh, my God. She's like, the eight-year-old is perfectly well behaved. And the 16-year-old comes in. And if he doesn't get everything he wants, he flips out. So then she goes on to tell a story about how they came in looking for a Nintendo 64 once. They didn't have any at that location. So she called up the Chula Vista location. Walter had an N64 down there. <clears throat> they went down to go get it. And Lane, sensing that there might be some trouble with this family, calls up Walter and goes, Hey, Walter, I know you, you know, it's what we do, but just make sure you show them how to clean the games. Sure. And the games are very clean because <clears throat> X, Y, and Z. So Walter calls an hour later and he goes, Lane, what the hell was that? And Lane's like, what? So Walter goes on to relay the story that they went down there to go get the N64. And Walter goes, now I'm going to show you how to clean the games. You're just going to want to make sure the games stay clean. And all Walter did was start to show them how to clean the games. And the 16 year old goes, Almost crying. Well, then I don't want any of it. <laughs> what? And Walter's like, huh? He's like, well, then I don't want, if I have to clean the games, then I don't want any of it. Oh, my God. And the mom, apparently, at this point, is trying to, like, excuse me. She's like, no, no, honey, it's fine. I'll clean the games for you every Sunday. This kid's a fucking nightmare. Yes, and he's a nightmare of his parents' construction. And I guess, like, like Walter was listening, like, talking about how the mom was going to, like, take, like, just to try to get him to not have this freaking outburst. I'll clean the games for you. And he's like, no, no, I don't want it. So they went to one store, then all the way down to the other store, had Walter pull, like, five games, the system, and then they walked out because the, guy, the kid said he shouldn't have to clean any of his video games. This poor eight-year-old boy. I want to adopt this eight-year-old. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the big brother of this eight-year-old because the father is toothless. Should have slapped that the, the six-year-old around when he was younger. Not to be a fucking giant baby. Fucking dead suffering from meat mouth from all the jack in the box. <laughs> <laughs> meat mouth. Fucking, he's got a bad case of meat mouth. This poor eight-year-old was going to come and get a game for his birthday. Nice, well-adjusted little kid. Has, and we don't know if, he, if his older brother terrorizes his eight-year-old like at the house. Probably does. And uh, the brother brother is the biggest... Man, I don't want to threaten violence against a sixteen-year-old, but holy shit, I'm like, I'm like this 16 is like sixteen-year-old. What, what's that? Sixteen-year-old. Sixteen-year-old. That's what I mean. Like, holy shit, I yeah. ruined his brother's birthday or birthday, whatever outing. And the mom tries to be the, the, the bad cop, but the father's toothless. He goes to Jack in the Box, gets a burger, he gets rewarded for bad behavior. That's yeah. just reward kids for bad behavior. And I, I, I want to be clear. It didn't seem like it was any sort of like learning disability or anything He's like an that. Asshole. It just seemed like every fucking asshole 16 year old kid who was spoiled rotten when you were growing up. You knew that you, you absolute, everyone out there knows this kid. Everyone out there knows Brewster who wants his Pokemon Plantum. Brewster? That's, Bre I, that's not. Like Brewster's name. millions? Yeah, that's just what I, <laughs> you know, Brewster sounds like. Wow. Well, well, that's a. Uh, 
Sounds like we have have to have Lane on the show to talk about more stories <laughs> instead of you. Let's, let's get Lane. To, to, sounds like it happens every week. Wow. I don't want it. Imagine what imagine what Christmas would have been like if this kid got one thing that he didn't th- think was the perfect gift, or it, it was. It's like it's a like Cartman. And I almost felt bad for the mom in that moment until I heard the story that Lane told me. And it's like, okay, you're trying to put your foot down now, but it's too little, it's too, too late. late. You should have done the kid was seven. Yeah. This is a bad seed, it sounds like. Yeah. This is a bad seed. There's sometimes bad seeds, and you, and you got to take care of them when they're young. You can't wait till they're, till their hormones are raging, and then they're they're complaining about uh, games that don't exist and, and yelling, about, <laughs> yelling about burgers how about that aren't good. How about option three? How about a jack in the box? <laughs> how about a, a, a jump hey, jack? Hey, hey, buddy, how about option three? How about a jack in the box? Huh? <laughs> how, about, how about some jack in the box? Huh? He's just like, he's just like totally just mellow and just like, yeah. Oh, the, hey, hey, buddy, how the, about option three? The dad looks like he might have some, like he very. He's like, on something. Yeah, he's on. Yeah. Like, he's on something. He he found an he's old on Prozac or he something. He found an old store of quaaludes to yeah. like just knock it out. He's just like, hey, and that's the only way he can survive, maybe. Because he has his job and his and his bratty a bratty freaking kid, and who knows that the wife is it was mean too, or maybe that's from the maybe maybe the son's like the dad and the and the other the older son's like the like the mom. I don't know. Who knows? Poor. I, I mean, I want to find this kid and just like give him a hug and like some games now. Yeah, he was he, he was it. fine, but yes, yeah, like I, like I said, Lane Lane even said Lane was like, yeah, you know, the, the, the younger one never gives me any problem. <laughs> She's like, it's just the older one who fucking is an asshole about it. Because everything. he's trying to keep the family together, the eight-year-old. Yep. He sees it coming apart at the seams. Yep. Kids are smart. He doesn't want, the, he doesn't want the, uh, the divorce when he's eight. He loves his parents. He, he probably still loves his dumb brother who probably uh, terrorizes him. He's just trying to get through grade school and get out through high school and get to college and get a good job. I'm not I'm not projecting or anything. I'm just saying, like, you know, when you're eight, you got, you got goals. You, get, you got to get to the finish line. every morning and checks out the apartment listing. <laughs> you know? You, you you see you see what's on the horizon. It can only get better when you get older. I, I've been there, eight year old. I, I've been there. You know, I mean, your parents yell at each other every day. It's okay. Plant them. You'll get through it. You'll just you'll just when you're older, twenty years afterwards, you'll just make up for lost happiness from childhood. Maybe start buying those games you should have bought when you're eight and you couldn't in the store. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it probably will. Eight year olds. I'm there for you, eight-year-old. I, I I feel a kindred spirit here with the eight-year-old, here. All right. Well, that was a, a tale from the game store, and it's got to come back more regularly because <laughs> that was hysterical. It was one of the best. It was one of my favorite ones. <laughs>